Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Okay, today we will continue our last topic in chapter 6 which is internal combustion engine. Please remember that this part is under the title of gas power cycle. So all the process or all the cal calculation in this topic will be based on formula hijau. Okay, so for subtopics, we will uh, cover 6.1 overview of reciprocating engine. 6.2 auto engine, 6.3 diesel engine and 6.4 dual combustion engine. And for this uh, chapter, the most important part that you have to concentrate is 6.3 and 6.4. This is an overview of reciprocating engine. What is reciprocating engine? Reciprocating engine is an engine in which one or more piston, this is piston, moving up and down in cylinder. So this is the piston and this is a cylinder. Okay, so this is another example of reciprocating engine. Okay, this is the nomenclature for reciprocating engine. So uh, we look at this part first. This is uh, intake valve, this is exhaust valve, and this is spark plug or fuel injector. Okay, when the this is the piston, okay, this is the crankshaft. When the piston is moving up, so we can call that this line is as a top dead center. Okay, the diameter of the piston is bore and when the piston is moving down, okay, the line is bottom dead center. If the piston is moving from bottom dead center to top dead center, we can say that it is a stroke. This is a cylinder wall. And this is clearance volume which, we, uh, which I will explain in uh, next slide. Okay, the piston reciprocate in cylinder between two fixed position as I mentioned in previous slide, top dead center, TDC. What is top dead center? Top dead center is when the position of piston is moving up and it will form smallest volume in the cylinder. Bottom dead center is when the piston is moving down. Okay, so we call it as a BDC. This is TDC. Okay, so BDC is the position of the piston. Okay, when the piston is moving down and it forms largest volume in the cylinder. So the volume will be inside here compared to when the piston is at TDC. This is a smallest volume. What is stroke? Okay, as I mentioned before, okay, the stroke is the distance between the TDC and BDC that the piston can travel in one direction. And bore is a diameter of a piston. This is bore. Okay. Okay, next we go to this uh, slide. Alright. The, the air or air fuel mixture is drawn into the cylinder through intake valve. So this is intake valve. When the air fuel mixture is entering here, then the intake valve will be open. Okay. The combustion product are expelled from the cylinder through the exhaust valve. Okay, so the combustion product will expel from the exhaust valve through this part. Okay, exhaust valve. What is clearance volume? Okay, the clearance volumes are the cut. Sorry, the clear the clearance volume is the minimum volume formed in the cylinder when the piston is at T 
TDC. So we can see here this is the clearance form. Okay, this is the smallest volume. Is when the piston is at the TDC. Displacement volume means the volume displaced by piston as it moves between TDC and BDC. So when the piston is moving down to BDC, bottom dead center, then we can say that the volume inside the cylinder is called a displacement volume. The ratio between displacement volume over clearance volume, we call it as a compression ratio. This is the most important uh, this is the uh, most important thing that you have to remember in chapter 6. Compression ratio, RV. Okay, so RV is displacement volume over clearance volume. V maximum over V minimum or VBDC over VTDC. Okay, next we go to the mean effective pressure. What is the mean effective pressure? This is important uh, that you have to that you also have to remember. Okay, the MEP is mean effective pressure, and it is an average pressure in the cylinder for a complete engine. Okay, so if you can see at this PV diagram, actually the PV diagram, uh, the curve or the cycle is look like this okay so the pink part or the pink color represent w net okay so if we uh, sketch down here and this line it represent v minimum that is v at the tdc and v maximum which is uh, piston at bottom that center so, this box represent W net here. Okay, because it is difficult for us to find the area ins, uh, inside, this, uh, is inside this circle. So, we represent the W net here as a box. Okay, then we know the area of this box is MEP. Okay, this is, we uh, call it as a mean effective pressure multiplied with the height. Sorry, the height is MEP and the length is V maximum minus V minimum. Okay, so we can also say that W net is also, uh, is equal to MEP multiplied with the piston area multiply with the stroke or MEP multiply with the displacement volume. Okay, so here MEP is equal to W net over V maximum minus V minimum. Okay, we can write it in a capital letter or in small letter then we rearrange this formula therefore it can reduce to MEP is equal to W net over V max multiply with 1 minus V min over V max we know that V max over V min is compression ratio therefore the MEP is W net over V max multiply with 1 minus 1 over compression ratio that's all for subtopic 6.1 that you have to know before we proceed to 6.2 6.3 and 6.4 thank you